Hi, my name is Elaine Thomas, also known as Mystical Mischief on some of the cake decorating forums. I'd like to show you some of the techniques I use while cake decorating and also hopefully inspire you to have a go yourself. So I'd like to show you how I made these little kittens that I did for a workshop. Um, they're so simple and quick that I, I really just wanted to show you how you could do them. So I'm going to use ginger modelling paste and I've made this out of chestnut, melon and a little bit of tangerine out of the sugar flare colours. Also a, a spot of pink, black and white modelling paste. The pink is just a tiny bit of Wilton Rose. I've also used, I'm going to use a, a bit of pink powder, Trex or white fat just to help me roll some small pieces and a little bit of water to help me stick the pieces together. Now the tools that I'm using are a craft knife, the veiner, ball tool and um, the bone tool and the small part of the bone tool, a drinking store that you can get off of children's cartons of drinks, a paintbrush just to basically put the water on to help it stick, a very small paintbrush, this is a double O, to help paint some stripes on it because it is ginger so we're going to put a few stripes on it and then a, a small dusting powder, um, dusting brush to put the dusting powder on with. Now I'm going to take the ginger modelling paste and I'm just warming it up slightly in my hands just so it'll move and won't crack when I come to roll it and I'm just going to roll two teardrop shapes and the balls start off roughly the size of a Malteser or a marble. I'm just going to use it in my hand, just point it off to make two teardrop shapes. Now one of those is the head and one of those is the body. That was slightly bigger, so I'm going to use that one as the body. Pop that to one side for a minute and I'm going to show you how to do the head. Now using the small part of the bone tool, I'm just going to press in the eyes, coming from the front, pressing some eyes and keeping your finger in the back so it doesn't You've got something to press against that also shapes the back of the head and then using the finger I'm just going to push up that point which makes a little snub nose which cats tend to have and then just basically neaten it up. Now using the veiner I'm going to take out two small pieces of paste again and they're very small you see how small they are and these are going to be the ears. So again, make them into teardrops. I'm using the vein and the, the pointed part, the edge of it is on the bottom. Pop it into the ear, pull across which picks it up and then just push it into the head and then bring the point up. And again, push Pull it across, pop it into the head. If it's not sticking, just get a little help. Pull the tip of the ear across. Okay. Now I'm going to put some eyebrows on. Still, just still using the ginger. I'm just going to roll a tiny bit between my fingers. Knock it off onto the table. Take off each edge of these and with a little bit of water pop an eyebrow on. Now put a bit of water inside the socket and a bit on the end of his nose. So we're going to do the nose, and all it is is, again, a small ball of pink, and we're going to just keep squashing it with our finger. This gives us a round circle, but also make sure that the edges are nice and rounded off too. Now we're going to cut a wedge out of this, like we would have a pizza or something like that. Just a little wedge. Pick it up with a knife. And pop it onto the end of the nose. Just using the knife as well, just 
pop in a couple of little nostrils either side. Now using the pointed part of the straw, pick the head up slightly and just pull a mouth. <laughs> 